this is where I'm staying and I'm not moving an inch. Let the court do this due diligence and they tell me if I have to move from the evidence that I've given. Is my evidence okay or is it not? We have parents, we have uncles, we have aunties who saw this relationship start. How can he claim that he doesn't know who we are? Yeah, I rest my case there. I have lived in this uh, trio estate since July 1985. We came here with one Suleiman Murunga who brought me here as a wife. Had been to my parents, I had been to his homestead in Kimilili, even as we came here. Along the line, he walked out and has been away a good 32 years before he has come back to these premises to harass us. Uh, my late dad tried on several occasions to approach him on what he thought was about me as a person he took from them while they were still around. Before my father passed on, he said, my daughter, since my son-in-law has refused to honor a meeting for us to resolve the matter, I am now giving you permission to seek legal redress. I took this matter to court. We are talking about 2020. The process has been frustrating. Every time we are in court, either the file documents are missing, all manner of stories. I have done three restraining orders to date, which have not been ordered, have not been listened to, have not been, no action has been taken. Meanwhile, the man has been coming, harassing us into, in the compound. As we speak right now, he has removed everything from the house. Before that, he damaged the locks, he cut down the fence. As I'm speaking right now, tonight, he has he's, he came and said that we should know where we will sleep because he has removed everything from the house, yet we are in court. We are just wondering where is the justice in this land? Where is the justice in this land? That I can be in court, that I can report I'm being oppressed, that I can go to the police station. The police station are not able to, the police are unable to help me because they say they can only do that with a restraining order, of which has been manipulated for whatever reason. Three of them, between 2020 and now, we have done three restraining orders which have not had our hearing. It, 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 it's a distressing situation. Who else do we run to? If the justice will not listen to an ordinary citizen like me, why perhaps the person is of status or whatever it is, I don't want to speak. But as of this minute, I'm only asking one question. Where is justice in this land? Why hasn't the first restraining order not been listened to? The second one, a third one, as latest as the other week as it came. Why is it not being listened to? And the evidence that is on the ground is, 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 is our facts being seen even by the neighbors. I'm a laughing stock in the neighborhood. Every time coming, cutting the, the chain of the gate, removing locks, throwing my things out. Like now, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Coming to Halas. Harassment has been in the, in the... In fact, the first restraining order we did in August 2022. So we are talking about a whole year of harassment. Between August last year and now, harassment, harassment, coming, cutting the gate. Waiting when I'm not around is when he comes and hires uh, people around to, to do all manner of things. Threatenings. My goodness, help. <laughs> what is the word help? The day he walked out, it ended there. I have raised, I've done everything on, I'm a retired civil servant as of now. I've had to, to do whatever I can do to, to make my living. No help. No help whatsoever. And last 32 years, he has not been living here. Where was he for 32 years? That now he remembers, he has a compound calling his. He's saying he doesn't know us. How did we enter here? How do you live in somebody's compound for, for 38 years? And the person claims he doesn't know who you are. Asking one question. 
because diligence is followed. If somebody is complaining about something, can they not be heard? Because why I'm bitter, I have not been heard. I took a complaint to the court. And while waiting for ruling or whatever to be done, why can't we in, be in peace? When he started harassing us is when I went for the restraining order, which has never been listened to, which has never been effected. Three of them. Between August last year and now, the third one, the latest one we did uh, the other Monday. So I'm asking, where is justice for a Mwanaichi like me? Who doesn't have clout? Who doesn't have, who is not known or who is not popular for that matter? Where is justice for people like us? 38 years of living here, where am I going? There's no way I'm going. I'm saying this and I'm sitting here. If it means sitting there, I will sit and I want to see this justice. Whether it is working or not, that is why I will not move. Why should I move? To where? Aish. We heard that uh, the judiciary has been reformed. This kind of treatment, to me, I don't see reform. I don't see reform. We were excited and we knew that the place has been cleaned up. What is this that happens? That documents you have filed have been uploaded cannot now be traced. Where do they, where do they vanish to? Because for, for, for you to get an invoice and a receipt, it means the evidence you have projected has been looked into. So where does it disappear thereafter? I said we've lived here, I've lived here for the last 38 years. Uh, my son here, who came thereafter, the last 32 years, he knows this is home. So when he says he does not know us, I'm just wondering. There, there are witnesses who saw how we began. There are witnesses who know how it began. So for him to claim that he does not know us, I've left it to God. Yeah. That is not even an issue anymore because all that matters is the last 38 years I've lived here. We have lived. This is where we know home. There is nowhere else we are going. What we were saying is, let the justice be done. The due justice be followed. As simple as that. Why this forceful and mistreatment and oppression? Eh, if he knows that he's, he's genuinely on the right, as he keeps saying, I'm, I'm right, it's my compound, or whatever, whatever. It is fine. Why can't we follow the due diligence? That is my, 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 my question. Why this manipulation? Why these funny things going on? Eh? that I'm not being listened to. I'm the one who's complaining. I'm the one being oppressed. Why can't I be listened to? And he be listened to. And an honest, genuine ruling be made over this matter. Just imagine. So where do I, I told you 38 years. Where am I going? I have no plan B. This is where I'm staying and I'm not moving an inch. Let the court do this due diligence and they tell me if I have to move from the evidence that I've given. Is my evidence okay or is it not? We have parents, we have uncles, we have aunties who saw this relationship start. How can he claim that he doesn't know who we are? Yeah, I rest my case there. How many kids? I have two. Yes.